back to here, and today I'm with Grant Bansmer. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this go I'm with Grant Bansmer today, and we're going to be doing System Test Eight. Um. This System Test, I'm going to be using a brand new device, and I said last System Test that w that pff, I can't talk. Anyway, uh, brand new device. I just got it a week ago. All right. Brand new device is the System Sensor Mass 247580A. Um, yeah, so it has a giant chunky ADA strobe that, and I feel like, like, you can just, I don't know, it's a really awkward strobe. Anyway, uh, 75 candela, and this thing is set on, um, 800 hertz, and the panel is coded to code 3. I want to change that right now. I'm gonna change that, hold on. My keys. I think the strobe on the mask looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does, but, um... It's not the best installation for schools because people are going to be yanking it and stuff like that. I've seen that happen. I wasn't happy. It's like pull it down from the back box. But it is a really uh, unique strobe. Change it back to continuous. The um, reason why it's not set on slow loop is because it's ridiculously loud and I don't want to deal with that. In such a small area, my camera won't focus. There we go. Um, initiating devices, same i3, uh, the T-Bar and the MS6, um, remote strobes are the MT, and out here is the EHMD, so, yeah, um, I do, I did take off the dress panel for this test for some reason, because I felt like it, anyway. And the alarm out in the hall is going to be acting as a remote strobe. Yeah, because, you know, my family's going to be, like, really mad every time I test the system. Um, yeah, so, um, which one should I pull first, the MS6 or the T-Bar? I'm thinking the 4250-120. All right, three, two, I know you guys are sick of seeing this, three, two, one. <laughs> See out here. It's pretty loud with cotton balls in, too. It's a scroll back to Alright. It sounds like a tornado siren. That's... Alright, let's silence this. I'll turn off the light. And there is no audible silence, sadly. Oh, that was really loud even with cotton balls. In. Dude, that's two layers of cotton balls and it's still loud. Yeah, um, it does drown out the panel piezo. Why did I turn off my light? It does drown out the panel piezo too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset the T-bar. Cause every, every time I don't, I don't have hearing protection on and it hurts my ears. Reset this. Yeah. Acknowledge it. Come on. So yeah, um, this thing cannot do an audible silence because I have it set up as two wire protocol and it's not it's it's not cooperating. Anyway, um, onto the MS6 and I'm gonna change the panel code into code three. Just for demonstration. Alright, code three now. Pulling the MS6. Three, two, one. The strobes do flash really slow since the neck is pulsing. Get some outdoor strobe action. See how loud it is from even back here? Yeah. By the way, it's 117 candela. Let's silence it. Alright, now it's silenced. Um, I'm going to reset the MS6. I think that actually sounded pretty cool. It almost sounded like a chime stroke through Skype. Yeah. Um, it does sound really unique. I, I really like it. And it's pretty loud. Um. Alright, um, that's a different... That's a different video. Reset. So yeah. Um, not much 
not that many changes to the system. Really, I'm just switching around the, the devices. What? Aren't you gonna do the I3? Yep. Alright, let me close this up. Take the keys out of the MS6. The MS6 is actually pretty hard to pull unless you don't... Like, you have to put your thumb on the side of it for it not to be difficult to pull. I don't know if it's that... if it's just me. I cannot talk today. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna test the I3 as usual. No smoke, because that's so, too much of a hassle. I don't have smoke, solo smoke. I'll this from the way over here. It's decent. Whoops. Outdoor strobe action. Since there's no audible silence. Turn off the light. Alright, silence it. I3. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Oh, yeah. dang it! I like how it does like two seconds of a uh, continuous at the beginning. Yeah, because, um, the reason why is because the NAC is actually pulsing code 3, so, um, it takes a while to kick in, and then, yeah. Um,. And that's why scrubs are flashing so slow, because they need time to charge up, and they're only getting pulse signals through the panel. And if I'm doing something wrong, don't yell at me. So I know somewhere in the instructions said not to not to not connect it to a pulsing NAC circuit. Well, whoops. I hasn't damaged anything. Oh yeah, if you guys wanted to know, here's the inside of my panel. NAC connections, zone connections, all the other ones are unused. And of course, a transformer that I'm not happy about because it outputs FWR. And that means I can't use simplex on it. So t stop bothering me about that. Anyway, um, I thought there was one other thing I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Um, sneak peek. Let me think of it. Uh, here's a hint for the next, next system test. Hmm. The alarm is a perfect square. A horn strobe is a perfect square. That's your hint for system test 9. It's a perfect square. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it for this system test. Anything you want to say? Um, well, uh, I'm guessing for the next system test, it's the wheel lock MT. But that's just my guess. Well, we'll have to see. Um, oh yeah, um, two things. Uh, be sure to check out Grant Bantor's channel. And subscribe to him because he makes fire alarm videos too. And check. Uh, no, I forgot. Anyway, yeah, check out Grand Bands where he's, he has really good fire alarm videos. I don't know how to talk anymore. So I'm just going to end it here. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.